Chad Brendel, Bearcat Journal, Josiah DeGuara, Josiah, uh, you're, you're what, three now out here? There's four out here. Four out here for you. Uh, are you still excited to come out or are oh, you yeah. like, oh man, we got three weeks of this? I mean, you know, it's all, it, higher ground, you know it's coming. You know, the exciting thing is it's a grind and football's about to come, so that's the most exciting part. So we always got to come out here with a positive attitude because if you come out here thinking it's going to be a grind every day, then that's how you're going to come out as the last, because the last day is cool. But you just got to come out and enjoy it every day, and that's what we're doing. Well, you got some young guys now in that room oh, yeah. that I'm sure uh, turn, the, turn the heat up a little bit. Yeah. Your pressure coming from, what do you, what's your take on, on Josh and, and Leonard so far as they get adjusted to things? Yeah, yeah, they're great athletes for sure. You know, I think with them it's just getting in and learning the playbook because they got the, all the athleticism, all the intangibles to be, you know, great players. They just got to learn the playbook because the less you think out there, the better you're going to be. So I think that's key with them right now. But, you know, they're, they're tall, six, six, six guys. You know, I look up to them all the time, but, you know, just trying to teach those guys to, you know, full effort every time. And if you make a mistake, it's all right. You just got to keep playing. You call mom and dad, and why am I not six, 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 yeah, seven? Yeah, this would yeah. be a lot easier. Yeah, I got to blame them for sure. <laughs> got to blame, gotta blame somebody. One thing that's rare for a tight end group is to have your position coach be the offensive coordinator. Yeah. Um, is that any different? Like, it, it's just something that you don't see at tight end much. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's definitely, I mean, we definitely like it. I mean, we, we get the mind of the OC coming into our room and telling them not, not just what we're doing, but what everyone's doing. And I think that's what we're really doing in the, what we started doing in the spring and we're doing more and more in the fall is just moving us all over the place and kind of getting us to learn not just our position, but every position on the field. And I think that's what helps the OC being in our room for sure. Do you pull them aside? Like, I know you call the plays, like <laughs> you need to. <laughs> I, I, with Coach Denver, I don't think that'll fly. I don't think that'll fly. Um, quarterbacks, uh, obviously, you know, Hayden's a senior. We've got Dez as a redshirt freshman, then as a freshman. What's it been like working with that group with one veteran and then two young guys that you're trying to bring along? Yeah, kind of the same thing. You know, I mean, Ben and Dez have been doing great, young guys, and then you got Hayden bringing them along every day because he's the older guy, got all the experience. So it's kind of good to have both ends of the spectrum, kind of get both sides. So, I mean, Hayden's a, a great quarterback, and so are the other two. It's just feeding off each other and the competition, too. You know, they really push each other, and I could tell Hayden is leaps and bounds just because Dez and Ben have been pushing them. So it's been a pretty good uh, combination for sure. Year two under the staff, is it different? Does it feel like there's more comfort, like everybody kind of knows what they're doing oh, yeah. as opposed to last year where they were still figuring it out? Oh yeah, I think that's the biggest thing from this year and uh, last year, just everyone trusts each other, everyone knows each other. I mean, they were only here for, you think about only six months last year, now a year and a half makes a world of difference. Everybody trusts, loves, and treats each other as family. And, and then just another year in the system, getting to know the playbook, I mean, like I said, we're way above where we were at this point last year. We're, we have so much more on the offense, so much more um, to show people this year. So that offensive line room, I was just talking to Coach Fickle about this, those guys next to you, especially the tackles, because yeah. you guys are kind of connected. That was a pretty small group when we got to the spring. Yeah. How different is that now? You look over and there's yeah. guys that are 6'10", 6'8", 6'6", 6'7". I think, that's, like I said, that just brings competition and pushes people. I think that's the biggest thing. Like Three guys in our tight end room now, we got six. Same thing on the O-line. They had, what, 15. Now they got 30-something. You know, it just brings everyone and makes everyone better when you have more guys that are pushing each other. Is Mets the biggest dude you've ever seen? Biggest dude I've ever seen. In person. I mean, besides going to NBA game, like actually knowing somebody, I mean, we lived with, he lived with the tight ends a little bit. And I mean, when he got here, he's already gained 30 pounds and he, he's went down in body weight. He's, he's ridiculous. He's a freak. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Appreciate you.